using a CDN for WordPress performance optimization. Hey, it's Ozzy here, and in this video, I'm talking about using CDNs, a content distribution network, to improve the speed of your WordPress website. This video is part of the WordPress speed optimization series. Make sure you check out all the videos in the playlist because they're all tips to help you optimize your WordPress website. Now, a CDN or a content distribution network is a great way to boost the speed, the performance of your website. And the idea is that your images are hosted on the CDN, on the content distribution network throughout the globe. So if you have a page on your website with 10 images, those 10 images are no longer hosted on your website, they're hosted on the CDN. So when I visit that page, my browser has to download less data before it can display the page which means it loads faster. In the meantime, the images are loaded from the CDN, which is typically a very fast cluster of servers. The added advantage of a CDN, of course, is that your website is being served to the user from the nearest point to them. Without using a CDN, if your website is hosted, let's say in London, on a shared server, on a very cheap hosting server, and it loads slowly, then somebody in Australia is going to have to wait an eternity in order to load your website. Conversely, if your website is hosted on a content distribution network, then that Australian person's browser will download a copy of your website from the nearest point to them. So CDNs in theory are a great idea. Now there are one or two free CDNs and one that pretty much everybody knows is Cloudflare. The way that Cloudflare is set up can also help protect your website as well as improve its speed. Now Cloudflare do offer a free plan and many web hosts integrate with Cloudflare now making the setup easier than it's ever been. So if you're not using a CDN right now on your website then this is worth your time testing because if it works for you with your current setup then you could get a nice boost to your website performance using Cloudflare's CDN and that is without spending a single penny using the free plan and spending probably around 20 minutes setting the whole thing up. So it's well worth your time to test. If it does work for you, then please leave a comment and let me know who your host is. In the meantime, I will get around to testing Cloudflare with SiteGround, so keep your eyes peeled for that video. Either way, you should test this and see if you can get an improvement on your WordPress website. Another free CDN that a lot of people are not aware of actually comes from Jetpack. So it's WordPress's own plugin, if you like. Jetpack currently has a free plan, which includes unlimited static file hosting and unlimited image hosting. Essentially, this is a content delivery network for WordPress websites from Jetpack. It will help you accelerate your site with faster images and static files by reducing the bandwidth used from your host. So that is on the free plan, which is pretty amazing. Unfortunately, the downside is that when it comes to WordPress speed optimization, Jetpack is one big plugin. The page load time that you shave off by using the CDN, you lose by using the plugin. However, there is one very handy plugin that I've used in the past that helps you disable all the features of Jetpack that you're not actually using. So that plugin doesn't load all those things. If you are using Jetpack or you're planning on using it, then I would recommend disabling the modules that you're not using manually. And you can do that by going to Jetpack settings and going to debug mode. Or if you want to know the plugin that I used in the past, it's called Module Control for Jetpack. Now, I'm not endorsing this plugin because I don't know enough about it, but I did use it myself and it seemed to work fine for me. So with a little bit of work, you could end up with a free CDN for your images and your static files and a nice boost to your WordPress website. And on that note, if you are using a CDN, whether it's free or paid, as long as it's good, then leave a comment and let me know what it is. Now, CDNs sound great and usually they are. However, Backlinko did a in-depth study on page speed and they claim that CDN usage was correlated with worse page speed performance.
performance. And as they put it, this is likely due to the fact that certain CDNs perform significantly better than others. So the main takeaway here is that all CDNs are not created equally. Some are better than others. So don't let price alone trick you into thinking you found the perfect CDN. If it's cheap, there might be a reason for that. Now, talking about CDNs, some web hosting companies offer a CDN themselves. For example, Kinsta is one of them, and that can definitely work out very well. If your host offers this and it's already part of the setup, you're almost guaranteed that it's going to work because your host will have tested this as it wouldn't make sense for them to roll out a solution that's gonna slow your website if they claim that it's gonna do the opposite. So the bottom line is CDNs can definitely help boost the speed of your WordPress website, but they need to be tested. So let's move on to the next optimization tip, which you can now see on your screen. Click it and I shall see you there.